Yellow, today I'm going to be going over a few things that are basic PC maintenance. Things that you should be doing on a regular basis, depending on how often you use your computer. That might be weekly or monthly. I'm going to show you a few folders that you can clear up and give you back more disk space. So if you're running low on disk space, this will help. I'm also going to go over how to get a handle on your Windows updates. So that way you're never stuck waiting for Windows to finish an update when you turn your computer on and you're ready to go. Let's cut over the computer. I'm going to pull up the on-screen keyboard so that way you can see exactly what I'm typing. I'm going to open the file explorer which is down here at the little manila folder. I'm going to click on this PC. Then I'm going to click on local disk C. Then double click on Windows. And instead of having to search for whatever I want by scrolling up and down in the list, I can jump straight to it by typing a T. I'm going to double click on temp. If it pops up you currently don't have permission to access, you can just say continue. I'm going to delete everything in this folder instead of just sending it to the recycle bin. In order to do that, first thing I'm going to select everything by pressing Control and A, then Shift, Delete. And now it says, are you sure you want to permanently delete these items? Select yes. If it comes up with you need to provide administrator permission to delete this folder, make sure to have the box checked for do this for all current items. Select continue. If it pops up for this action can't complete because this file is open in Microsoft or open in whatever, it's okay. It's a small file. It means it's currently open. You can leave it alone. It won't do you any harm. Check the box for do this for all current items then say skip. The second folder we're going to look at is where Windows keeps track of all the logs. Click back on the Windows Word up in the top and we're going to search for logs. So again I'm just going to type LO and it takes me right to logs. Then we're going to double click on CBS. You might have a bunch of CBS persist files. All of them you can get rid of and free up a bunch of disk space. I'm going to select the CBS Persist log and do the same Shift Delete. Permanently delete. Select Yes. You'll need to provide administrator permission. Select Continue. If you have anything in your recycle bin, we want to clear that out. So if you hit the drop down arrow between the little folder and this PC in the top, you'll see Recycle Bin is here. Click on it. I don't have anything in my Recycle Bin, but if you have something in yours, click on the Empty Recycle Bin button in the top left hand side. The last folder that we want to clear out is individual to each person who uses the computer. Click back on this PC, double click on Local Disk C, double click on Users, double click on your username. If you're not sure what your username is, click on the start button, click the three. It'll show you your username right there. If you're not sure which is correct, you can go ahead and select any of them. It should automatically let you in. The folder we're looking for doesn't show up by default because it's got a bunch of files. If you accidentally delete them or mess with them, you can break your computer. We only want to go to the files that we know are safe to delete. In this case, the easiest way to show it is to select View, then check the box for Hidden Items. We're looking for App Data. Double click on that, then double click on Local, then double click on Temp. Exact same thing as the Local Temp folder. Use Control A and Shift Delete. Are you sure you want to permanently delete these 31 items? Yes. The action cannot be completed because the file is open. Do this for all. Skip. Clears out most of the files. Now we are still showing hidden files, but we really don't want to accidentally select anything that shouldn't be deleted. So uncheck that box when you're done. If you want to get out of this view, click on the home button up top. We're done with the file explorer now. Go ahead and close it. To click on the start button, 
click on settings, which is the little gear above power. Click on update and security. Windows is up to date. Last checked yesterday. Windows checks for updates and tries to install them every night. If your computer is off at night, it won't have that chance. So you have to check for updates manually sometimes. Click on the check for updates button. Still says computer's up to date. Now it says last check today. If your computer does need updates that it hasn't found yet, it'll download them and install them right away. If it has any updates left to install, you'll want to make sure to restart your computer instead of shutting down. When Windows does updates, it starts the install process when you tell it to install. It finishes the larger piece of the update after it turns back on, and they can take anywhere from six minutes to six hours. That's the basics of what you need to know to take care of your computer on a regular schedule. If you have anything you'd like to see or like to know more about with your computer, let me know in the comments below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a new video. My regular schedule is going to be Fridays at noon, Texas time. Hope this video helped. Peace.